up, everybody? So... I'm just gonna go into this. Um, let me see if I'm connected. Let me just see something. Okay, I'm here. So anyways, I'm a little pissed off. Actually, a lot pissed off. I'm gonna keep my voice low because it's really late. Well, it's early in the morning, but... Okay. So I'm mad. I'm not in names on social media because I'm not stupid. Hey, BH, how you doing? Handsome person. Hi, burger boy. Thank you. God bless. Merry Christmas to everybody and happy holidays for all the holidays that are out, that are out there to celebrate. Hey, Yakov. Hi, burger boy. Hi, the new BH. Thank you for coming to my chat. So, let's just put it this way. I got privy to a certain conversation that took place a couple months ago. And I found out the real thoughts of what my twin flame or past person thinks about me. And I'm fucking pissed. Like, first of all, let's fucking clear up some fucking things. I have never, never, never been to any of his shows, if you want to call it that. One. Two, I never lied about being raped at 18, and I never lied about being raped at 27. Hey, Carl. Hi, Bimbo. Hi, gorgeous people. God bless everybody. Um, and the other thing that really fucking pissed me off. Hi, gorgeous redhead. Gorgeous Scully Queen. Is he's like, I don't see this woman living another 10 years. Who the fuck are you to tell me I'm not going to live another 10 years? I'm not gaining weight. I actually lost a pound. I'm 401. And who the fuck are you? Huh? No. Nobody's blocked. To tell me that I was never raped. How could I PTSD without rape? I wasn't uh, an army vet. God bless the army vet. Vets. So, how the fuck can you say this as a fucking professional? That I've never been fucking raped. You piece of shit. You fat fuck. How fucking dare you? Listen. I'm gonna thrive in this lifetime. And if you think you use your fucking connections... To get me a certain thing extended, you can't. Because without proof, hey pizza, without fucking proof, you can't extend orders. I've left you the fuck alone, and you're telling people I should die, this or that. Who the fuck are you? You know the fucking bulls say to my face, you hide behind the, the po-po. Oh, I can't say who he is. I'll get in trouble. You know, I was never raped. <laughs> That's why I wake up with fucking nightmares and I get panic attacks and my psychiatrist gives me out of again. <laughs> wow. Fucking jerk. What a fat fuck. I'll tell you one thing, asshole. You'll never have a son because God's going to punish you for being a uh, rapist. I mean, look at Chris Nolf, guys. Chris Nolf got it. has all these accusations of uh, sexual assault. They take those shit fucking seriously now. Well, after the new year, I'm going to look into pursuing charges against this. I had enough now. And I got confused in the beginning, before the assault happened, that he was my twin flame, but he's not. Mr. Taylor is done for. Her. It was some loser. So I'm fucking mad. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Happy holidays. 
So I'm just like, what the fuck? Why? Like, who would lie about being raped? Who would lie about that? I don't. Never have, never will. I think it's supportable to lie about something like that. Well, I don't want my twin flame. In fact, I'm staying alone forever. I'm never getting married. I'm never having no babies. The way men treat me is fucking terrible. Like I'm like I'm a piece of uh, like I'm a booty call, basically. Or they just go and take it without my consent. So I'm done. But yeah, I find out every fucking thing. See, people think they can hide things from me and they can be sneaky and go behind my back. But you know what? God always lets me know some way, shape, or form, and I just, the information comes to me. Aw, thank you, Agent Skull. You deserve king. Everybody deserves a king or queen. How do I know? In fact, I'm gonna get my tarot cards. Just for me, though. Sorry. Let's find out if I'm going to get justice this year. To the courts. Because I fucking had enough. People doing shit to me and getting away with it. But also always handle through the court system. There we go. I haven't touched these cards in a while. These are my cards. Uh, let's see. Temperance, you're right. That's much bullshit. Hey, Ashen. So here's my cards. Let's see if there's any like weird cards in here. I think that's it. All right. So, dear God. Oh, I just saw Justice card. Dear Jesus, dear my angel guides, am I ever going to get justice against the most recent rapist through the court system? Amen. I <laughs> just what I want. <laughs> I'm not even going to, um, no idea who that is. All right. Hmm, this is interesting. Nine of Wands. Let's see if I'm going to get justice now. Sick of it. I can't even talk to somebody like with psychological stuff because I'm scared. Oh, Justice Card. The justice card. Where are you, justice card? <laughs> <laughs> the chariot. Defamation of character. <laughs> the rapist tries to, like, get me with defamation of character. That's the funny part. Right. You're only gonna have 10 years to live. Okay, fuck you. Fat fuck. Not even gonna happen. I'm gonna live to 100. Oh, tower card. That's justice. <laughs> Let's see what I can do about this. <laughs> That's a good BH. So we got Knight of Wands represents him. And then also the chariot, which represents him. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say why. And the tower, which means everything's gonna fall as shit. Yeah. Come the new year, I'm gonna find a real lawyer that's gonna help me. Cause I always I was this close to finding one. I put this guy behind bars. So another female. It doesn't go through this. Sick of this shit. Putting things against my life. I don't see this woman living another 10 years. And then this sicko loves to watch my YouTube videos. Have you seen her YouTube videos? Like, like a, 
like a schoolboy with or with a crush on a schoolgirl. Have you seen her YouTube videos? Like he watches them every fucking day. Yeah, you be watching from his fucking jail cell. He's a piece of shit, making up lies. He he abused the system, and I have it on fucking. I have evidence. Now I have fucking evidence. I might get this for a certain thing thrown out. Because you didn't go about it in a way which was legal to get something against me. We're going to see about this now. And I don't ever want to talk to see, or see him again. Like, go live your life. But he should be, in a, he should be behind bars. Who does that? Who bribes, like, judges and shit to get restraining orders? What do you do? What do you do? Like, do him a fucking favor? If you know what I mean? He is a real piece of shit, Carl the Van. And I used to love him. Am I fucking crazy? He used to be like, oh, sheepy. Right, sheep, I love you. Bellissima, I love you. Tiamo, I love you. Yeah, now you're gonna be behind bars. Look what's gonna happen to Chris Knopf. He, he raped those women, he's gonna go behind bars. Andrew Cuomo, you think they take that shit fucking lightly anymore? It's a whole new world. I've had enough. I'd love to know who this dumb fucking judge was that you, the, who, what connection this was because I, if I, I'm gonna find out about it. And I always find out everything, because you know what? God is love and truth, and the truth is always fucking revealed at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, predators are on notice. Yup. I had enough. There is no more love anymore. I don't know what that means, the doobie age. It's just me. So, I'm just done. Now, I wonder if that's sufficient evidence <coughs> that I have. Hello. How you doing? To bring to the courts. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, well, he goes around raping women, so he's a piece of shit. Allegedly. Oh. And Chris Noth, or allegedly. But I believe the women. You don't lie about that shit. Let me tell you something. When you're raped as a woman or a man, the after effects are detrimental. I mean, you either turn to drugs, alcohol, or food. Um, you have nightmares, and sometimes even therapy doesn't even work to heal yourself. You know? So, I'm gonna fuck. I'm not shutting my mouth anymore. I just don't give a shit. I'm sick of the fucking nightmares. I'm sick of having what the the proof that I have. I'm finding a lawyer. Somebody played the fucking legal system against me. And I just realized it today that I have proof. Because I find out every fucking thing. You can't play me. Oh, it's between me and they were. I mean, there's hazing, but it's normal. But at, at the end of the at the end of my time, they were really nice to me. The girls, women, women, not girls. The queens, yes. I don't remember their names anymore. It's been so long, but I remember their faces, and they were nice ladies. So, but uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just really fucking mad. I'm, I'm calm, but I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take legal action. That's all you do. Don't 
three months. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I'm probably deleting this video for anything, but like y'all should be dumb enough, not you, <laughs> him, to record yourself saying, "Oh well, I've I know people." Well, that's insinuating that you abuse the system with the courts. That is a slam dunk case right there. Stupid ass. Like, if you're gonna do something like that, you don't you shut the fuck up and you don't tell anybody what you're doing. <laughs> Stupid. Do you watch your videos? Yeah, I bet he fucking does. Fucking jerk. He could be one of these subscribers on here and just not saying anything. He probably, he probably gets a notification. The Queen's Palace is live. I bet. I'm not stupid. See, because YouTube doesn't tell you who your subscribers are. He could be hiding behind any of these faces, any of these names. Not you guys, but. Just saying. I'm not stupid. He's a stalker. Ridiculous. Thank you, Punk Rock. I hope you get your righteous retribution soon. I will. I'm going to assume civilly, too. He's, he's got a lot of money. <laughs> I'll put. I'll give some to charity, and maybe I'll go to school or something. <laughs> Get therapy as well. Real therapy. Yeah, I, I just had enough. You know, I was actually thinking about going back to school to be a, a natal nurse. Like work with the babies. But first, I gotta get physically healthy, of course. Lose a little weight. Do what I gotta do. But give back to the world. I don't care if I ever get married or have a baby, but <laughs> I love you, the new BH. Mountains of evidence, rivers of justice for 2022. Yeah, it's a new motherfucking day for 2022. I'm staying quiet anymore. I know I'm gonna get justice now. People shouldn't be dumb enough to like say things <laughs> and record themselves and put it on YouTube. <laughs> I, I just it just occurred to me now like I was thinking about it's like wait I have evidence what the fuck am I doing I'm sitting on this evidence you know what God in God's timing I don't, I don't push my release on anybody God reveals everything in due time when it's supposed to come out when it's supposed to do something with it and I'm gonna do something with this legally some people need to learn to keep their fucking mouth shut if you're gonna be sneaky and do something then shut up but See, with God is truth and love, and everything's always revealed. You can't hide nothing. Eventually, your karma comes back. God shows the way, and God reveals the truth. It's true. You can't hide what you do. Everything that's in, hidden in the dark comes to light. Let's put it that way. Again, I'll say everything that's hidden in the dark comes to light. Can't hide nothing. Any dirty deed you do, especially today's day and age, with cameras and people to people speaking up as, as witnesses, you can't fucking just do anything anymore. Which is good. People, probably years ago, people got away with a lot of shit. Not anymore. Ugh, my hair is disgusting right now. I'm sorry, guys. So, yeah. I'm not even crying anymore. I'm just like, whatever. She's gonna be a real woman and handle it. Had enough. Every summer I'm having a breakdown because of what happened to me, and it's like it's enough. And I have records to prove that. What this guy put me through from the psych wards. And this is definitely, I'm gonna get off here in about 10 minutes, but. I just woke up and I'm thinking like, damn, I have evidentiary support. What the fuck am I doing sitting on this? Maybe God wanted me to sit on for a while. But after the new year, oh yeah, it's coming out. Through a lawyer and judges and things like that. I'm not putting it on YouTube again. He already put it out on YouTube. So. <laughs> 
Oh well. <laughs> and I'm lying, say I'm going to his uh, shows and shit. I've never been to a show. I was never there. He's like, she tells everybody that you said that I raped her. From at a show? Like, I don't go to bars and clubs. Why the f I don't have a car. How am I going to go to these places? Well, quote Uber. Go check the Uber records. Says, I've never been you called. I never hailed an Uber. So how would I get there? Oh, stupid ass. Wow. Anyways. I just hope you guys have a very happy holiday. And you all get spoiled with presents and good food and family. Sure. Hi, Anne. Hi, beautiful queen. Um, yeah, so basically I was going through my files. And somebody posted something on YouTube, a certain conversation with the guy that raped me when I was 27. And he admitted on tape that he has connections with the restraining orders. He's going to keep on getting it extended for life. And I feel like Anne, that's a slam dunk case with a lawyer because he abused the legal system with somebody that helped him. Right? The new BH? If he didn't do it, he wouldn't complain to random people about the accusation. Yeah. And then he always watched my YouTube videos, like a fucking stalker. And So I'm going to get him in court for this shit. And I can't believe the New York justice system, or whatever, the, with the fucking licensing board, didn't even take this seriously. I'm going to sue them too. Like, they're there for that. And just because of messages that they threw the case out, that's bullshit. So the fuck why I was trying to get him to admit what he did. Unbelievable. So that's the gist of it all. But happy holidays, by the way. To you, Anne. And everybody. Fucking bastards. I didn't do it. Yeah, you did. He should be kissing my ass and saying sorry and maybe giving me a settlement, but no. Well, you deny, you did it. Yeah. I have it on record. And I have a really great lawyer that I can call after the holidays. That's We're going to take this to court. Because I'm not leaving it alone. I, I found, by the grace of God, let me tell you something, Anne. Everything kept in the dark always comes to light by the grace of God and Jesus. And I'm just, I don't push my beliefs on nobody. But the truth always comes out. And you can't hide things. You can't keep things hidden. You can't, especially if you're dumb enough to admit on tape that you played the legal system. Okay, well, now you're going to go to jail for it. That's, it's not perjury, it's something. It's bribery. Yeah, I'll have him and the person that did it get locked up and plus him locked up for the rape so that's what I'm dealing with <laughs> and all I realize I'm sitting on this evidence in here and I always keep my phone on me so not that everyone's gonna touch my phone I'm not that crazy <laughs> you know oh well People should learn to keep their mouth shut. If you're going to do something grimy, then shut the fuck up about it. Don't tell people. But you go and tell people. It's like, hey, yeah, I committed the crime. That's like somebody robbing a store and going on YouTube or Instagram saying, ooh, look at the fur coat I just bought with all this money. <laughs> like going back to the scene of the crime. How stupid are you? <laughs> I'm telling you. It's terrible. I find out every fucking thing. Everybody thinks I'm stupid. But then they're like, wow, she's not stupid. So, yeah. I'm going to sign up in about 10 minutes. And then this is getting deleted because this will not help me with my court case. My new court case for 2022. Oh, oh. Yeah. Amazing. People think they can play the legal system. Hey, he's a thousand G. He's a G. Go get this girl locked up. Okay.